There's one. There we go. Little evening beach bite, you guys. That is our smoke. There we go, the old surfboard taxi. <laughs> okay, let's tie this up. Uh, maybe to that back. Everybody's rocking. Hold on, Chris. Sweet. I didn't even bring any. I got, I got a setup right with her name on it. Here you go, bro. That's you. Yeah. Gotcha plug. Y'all, these bluefish are so fun. This is like in the mid Atlantic. Virginia, North Carolina. This is kind of like almost like what's to come for summertime fishing. You know, bluefish, yeah, we know. It's not the most attractive fish out there in the ocean to catch. But personally, I think that bluefish are heavily underrated. Um, Christy and I, we love catching these bluefish. And like we were saying, there's tons of different ways that y'all can catch these bluefish. You can catch them with hard plastics. You can catch them with soft plastics. They'll hit anything. All right, you guys, name of the game today is getting on some bluefish. Check out this beautiful sunset behind me and amazing weather out here. There he is. Man, these are so fun. Ash, we gotta get you on one, girl. All right, y'all, got my first bluefish. Actually, second one of the day, but first one on the gotcha. Gotcha plug action. All right, you guys, first bluefish into the boat. Jeff's got one, Mandel got one. Ash got none. And we'll get, <laughs> gotta get my Shut girl up. on a fish. Oh, all right. Woo! This one's pulling good. Man, my drag is down pretty good. Yeah. These guys fight so good. Ah! <laughs> all right, these guys have no size limit to keeping them. There's one. There we go, that's a good one. Come on in here. Duh. These bluefish are such a blast to catch. He's got me boat hook. Oh, he's oh foul hooked. That's why. All right, people, let me show y'all what we're using right now. A three eighth ounce oh jig God. head with a Z-Man. Look at how sharp teeth are. Wow, Christy's uh... So these three eighth ounce jig heads are getting it done. Oh, there's one. Oh, there he is. Now he's on it. Okay, is there one? Yeah. All right, people. Little bluefish. Little bluefish. This guy will eat. Just some fun in the sun out here. Woo! All right, so we came out here for a little bluefish action. These are so fun. Flip him up on the boat. Oh, he's a wily one. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> all right all right got another blue fish and i'm holding on to this guy with all my might so he does not get away all right so y'all when i first heard of plugs i don't know why i found them intimidating but honestly it's probably one of the most fun ways to catch a fish you really can't mess up this lure it's super easy to work the only thing is you guys just want to make sure you work it quick see jeff is already on a fish Soft plastic seems to be producing a little bit better for some reason. So I'm gonna work this guy a little bit slower and see if I can get a strike. All right, y'all. So what we're using today is a three eighth ounce jig head. And I'm not even using a leader line. These bluefish, they're so wily, they're so crazy. They're almost like hyenas of the sea. That's pretty much what bluefish are like. They will eat anything. So we're not even using a leader line. Leader line, yes, it will help, but if you do use a leader line, then you want to up it. If you're usually using 15 pound test for speckled trout or 12, and you want to use like 20 to 25, uh, just because they have their teeth chompers and you want them biting through your leader line. We're just using a Z-Man Minnow Z. So a lot of people use these, they'll use gotcha plugs, really popular metals, spoons, just as long as it's fast um, and it's, Honestly, like, as long as it's fast and it's um, erratic, 
then you're gonna be catching fish. So typically what we're doing is we're just kind of reeling it in, got a nice retrieve, nice healthy speed to it, and then we're just giving it some nice twitches of the rod, just like that. And these blue fish, they are absolutely destroying it. So when you guys cast it out, you can use any style of a retrieve. You can use a fast retrieve. Bluefish will eat a slow retrieve, but typically they like it faster. Um, it's almost like playing Mortal Kombat. I got something chasing it right here. Uh, yeah, it's almost like playing Mortal Kombat. Like you just hit buttons, just do anything. As long as it's fast and just crazy. There he is. That's crazy. Look at that. <laughs> oh, he bit me off. Howdy. Yeah. Oh, we got him. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Jordan, up on the rocks. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. There it is, y'all. Captain Christie's on the wheel. And that's how you wrap up a successful day of fishing right there. All right, y'all. So here we are. We are back at our place. And we are about to, I'm going to show y'all how to make these bluefish taste super, super yummy. We are going to smoke this bluefish we're gonna make a bomb bluefish dip. So let's go ahead. And here we have our bluefish in the cooler. We've been having them on ice for actually just one day. But what we did is we did um, kind of cut their gills. So you do wanna do this as soon as you catch bluefish. If you plan on eating them, you wanna bleed them out, cut their gills. That's what we did. So these bluefish are pretty dang small, comparatively speaking to other sizes of bluefish that you can catch. Uh, but yeah, so bluefish, um, they tend to be a pretty underrated uh, eating fish, and they do get a bad rap. But as you can see, their meat actually does not look that bad at all. Um, if you bleed it out, then their meat turns out really clear, not bloody, not too fishy tasting or anything like that. And we are going to make sure... These fish, just like Spanish mackerel and king mackerel, they do have a lot more of that like oily texture to them for their meat. So that's why, like, see, that doesn't look too bad at all. So that's why, like, smoking these fillets um, is actually like some of the better ways to prepare them. So like king mackerel, Spanish mackerel, and bluefish, they tend to say that these fish taste the best smoked. But some bluefish dip is actually a favorite of a lot of people up in like New Jersey and New York. He's got ice still in those kills. That's really? Funny. Yeah, from the cooler. All right, discarding the bluefish in our plastic bag. Keep the wife happy, people. <laughs> Don't put your fish around in the trash can or, luckily we also have trash tomorrow because nobody likes, because nobody likes the smell of stinky fish, especially your wife. Who's this boat in <laughs> All right, so if y'all have never removed a bloodline, it's really, really easy. Um, so the bloodline right here just runs down the middle of the fish. You don't have to do it on all fish, but it's, but for bluefish, we definitely want to do it because as you can see, that right there, that's kind of what gives a little bit more of that fishy taste to it. Um, we just want all the clean meat that we can get. So removing the bloodline is really easy. Just this red right through the middle. So all you're going to do is take your knife and you're just gonna start, I like to start on the tail end of the meat, you can start wherever you want. I like to start on the tail end of the meat and then just cut down pretty deep and then you're just coming all the way down just like that. And I like to turn my knife at the end and then you're just gonna do it on the other side of the red line and it'll come right out. So that's how you remove the blood line. So I want to show you all this whole process. It's pretty easy since actually since we didn't have time to put our fillets like on a brine, that's okay. It's still going to taste and smell really good. We're going to go ahead and just season these with some garlic, some oregano and some salt. Boom. So that's it. Charcoals. We've got some embers on them. Do you want to do the honors? Hey, you got a baby. Okay. All right, so put the top on, and we're just gonna pretty much, what are we gonna do now? Go longboarding? We're gonna leave it here 
and just I don't know uh go longboard and hang out and this thing is gonna smoke for about two hours on what wait until it gets about 200 yeah all right oh man that smells so good so this fish has been sitting on the smoker for actually about I don't know two hours or so and check that out so there it is that is our smoked bluefish fillets right there that we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this upstairs into the kitchen we're gonna make this into an awesome smoked bluefish dip you guys it's gonna be so easy super simple all right y'all so check this out one more look at these bluefish fillets and y'all if you're just gonna eat this normal just this is with no brine, no nothing. Look at that. Nice and moist on the inside. Got that smoky kind of crust on the outside. No fishiness. None. All right. Now I'm going to show you all how to make this smoked bluefish dip. It's going to taste amazing. All right. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to take an onion right here. And I'm just going to use about half an onion and we're going to dice this up. Okay. So the first thing that we did diced up some onions and we've got our mixing bowl really easy let's dice up some onions put it in the mixing bowl the next thing we're going to do i'm not measuring by the way just kind of there's i'll put in the description like the actual like specifics for this recipe but just to show you how easy it is just i don't know about a handful half of a onion i'm not even probably going to use all half of it um just a little bit of onion in there now what we're going to do is we're going to take our fish fillets and we're just going to take the fish take it off the bone as you can see comes off very easily okay so there it is we got our blue fish and our onions but that's all we're doing is just use your hand and just break up these fillets all right so the next thing that we're going to do is i'm going to cut up this lemon and just to add a little bit of flavor we're going to squeeze a whole lemon over all of our fish and our onions give it a nice zesty kind of lemon flavor to it all right next thing we're going to do we're going to add some worcestershire sauce and just one tablespoon but since i'm cooking or making a larger amount we're going to add a little bit more so that's about a tablespoon and a half and we're just going to mix that all around let me show you what this looks like Looking nice, looking nice, coming together. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna glob a whole bunch of this cream cheese in here. About that much. Let's do a little bit more, there we go. Okay, this is where I'm actually gonna use a fork, I'm not gonna use my hand. Yeah, so this right here is gonna create that like fish dip texture. We're gonna add a little bit of dill. Okay. Then we're gonna add just a little bit of mayonnaise. All right, y'all. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but that looks pretty legit. Um, and then we're gonna add some parsley to this just for our little style points. Last but not least, spice things up a little bit. A little hot sauce. This is just my personal preference. Y'all do not have to add this at all but I'm gonna add just a little bit of hot sauce to it. Next, all you do is just take your crackers, make yourself a lovely spread on your plate. Are you kidding me? This is bluefish right here, people. Look at this, bluefish. Look how good this is. This is insane, smoked bluefish. That is, I'm literally not even saying this, y'all. I've had smoked trout. I've had smoked cobia, redfish, flounder, all the inshore species, this literally, you cannot tell a difference. You literally cannot tell a difference. This is insanely good. Not to mention, I might have added a few little style points as well with my presentation. You take a little lemon, squeeze it on there, or take a little hot sauce. Come on, people. Y'all are missing out. Y'all have to do this. A little bit of hot sauce, a little bit of lemon on there. That's so good. Y'all, you guys have to try this. Please trust me. This tastes amazing. There it is. Smoked bluefish. Right there. 
Super easy. I'll leave all the ingredients in the description below. Just please do me a favor. You guys catch a bluefish. Try this recipe. Please comment below and I will respond to your comments. If y'all try this recipe. I absolutely love, actually I always love responding to y'all's comments anyways. But especially for this recipe because I know all y'all, everybody's out there, we're catching bluefish and you think it's just the bycatch, you know, you're fishing for trout or everything else. I say it y'all, get up off your butt, go catch yourself some fish, get some bluefish, get the smoker, smoke it up. Let me know how y'all like it. All right, people. Hope y'all doing well during the quarantine and I'll check y'all in the next vid. All right, peace out.